Hi, my name is Angie and I'm from A&T and I'm going to be telling you what you would want to load into your trailer if you're going off property for an event or if you're going off property just for schooling. Over here I have my hanging racks so I'm hanging my bridle on it and it's my dressage bridle because we're going off property to do a dressage show. I have my grooming kit in case Twyla needs a last minute brush to make her look nice and clean. I have my helmet because you need your helmet to ride. And I have my halter and it's just an extra halter in case one of our halter breaks or in case maybe somebody else's halter breaks and they need to borrow one. Behind me, I have my saddle racks. I have three saddle racks, which means I can put three saddles in at once. I have my dressage saddle because we're going to a dressage show. I have my thin line pad, which just goes under the saddle to make sure her back doesn't get sore. I have my no slip pad, which goes under the saddle pads, and it helps prevent the saddle or the saddle pads from sliding back. And then I have my girth. Your girth is one of the easiest things to forget because it can easily slide off your um, saddle anywhere in between your tack locker and the trailer. So you just really want to make sure that you have it because you can't put your saddle on if you don't have your girth. Beside my saddle racks, I have another hanger. So I can hang a whole bunch of different stuff on this. I like to hang my saddle pads on it on the way back because sometimes when Twyla sweats a lot, I can just hang my saddle pads on here and my no slip pad and I can just hang all of her sweaty stuff on here and then it can dry on the way back. Beside me, I have my stool. I use my stool when I'm going off property in case there's no mounting block where I'm going and then I can just use it as a mounting block. Behind my stool, I have my pitchfork and broom. I use the pitchfork and broom for the back of the trailer after we've gone somewhere and come back and I just use it to clean out the poo or pee if Twyla goes to the bathroom. I also have my lunge whip. I use the lunge whip when I'm using the lunge line which is up here. So when I use the lunge line it's usually when I'm going off property if she has a lot of energy or maybe she hasn't been to this place before and I just want her to be worked before I get on just so that she can get used to her surroundings. Some other things you might want to have in the trailer are your boots. Whether you have tall boots or paddock boots with half chaps, you still want to make sure that you have your boots in the trailer because that's what you wear on your feet when you ride. You also want to have some baby wipes because if your horse is white like Twyla, they're really good for last minute touch-ups. And if you get your hands dirty, you can just quickly wipe your hands. You also want to have some treats because if your horse was really good, then you want to give them some sort of reward. And treats are really good for rewarding your horse. And last, you also want your crop. If you don't need a crop, that's fine, but I do need a crop with Twyla, so I have my crop. And this is my dressage crop, which I use for dressage because we're going to a dressage show. On the door, I have some pockets. In this pocket, I have fly spray. You always want to bring fly spray with you wherever you're going because some horses get really irritated by the bugs, so you always just want to make sure you have fly spray to help keep the bugs off of your horse. In this pocket, I have a bridle number. What these are is you change the number and it just goes on the bridle and then this helps the officials at a show know what horse you are and what rider you are. In this pocket, I have some green spot remover. If your horse is white, this is very good because it just helps get off some of the spots that maybe you can't get off while brushing them and maybe you don't have enough time to give them a bath. So this is kind of like a bath in a bottle. And so I like to bring it to the shows because I don't really have time to bathe my horse while I'm there. So it just helps me keep her really clean and it helps me get her clean in a pinch. In this pocket, I have binder twine. What I use the binder twine for is I tie it on a loop on the trailer and then instead of tying to the metal on the trailer, I just tie it to the binder twine. It's a lot safer because if the horse pulls back, then it'll break and they'll be able to go do whatever they need to to not be scared anymore. But if they're tied to the trailer, then if they pull back, then it won't break and then they'll just be pulling and pulling and they could hurt themselves really badly. 
And then in this pocket up here, I have some leather wipes, which are really good for getting my saddle or, or bridle or boots nice and clean and shiny if they get dirty. In the trailer, you always want to have a hay bag and you just put your hay in it and hang it in the trailer. And what this does is it gives your horse something to do while they're going to or from wherever you're going. It also helps keep them relaxed because horses are naturally more relaxed when they're eating. You also want to have something to attach your horse to, which is also attached to binder twine at the top. In case your horse pulls back, then it'll break and then they won't get hurt. You always want to have something to attach your horse to so that when you open the divider to take them out, then they don't just walk out without you. Thank you for watching.